What is up you guys welcome welcome back to another video another vlog whatever anyways guys today we're gonna get go to a show of a local celebrity yeah? or semi celebrity and then um, obviously there's no gonna, no, not gonna be sound because this I'm gonna put my own sound in the video obviously because he's gonna sing and uh, tell some jokes and and it's gonna be in Afrikaans so it's gonna be boring to watch if you English so anyways uh, I think it's gonna be a fun video and I have a giveaway if I, I haven't mentioned it anyways I have a I have a giveaway if you guys didn't know. The giveaway is I'm giving away a pair of Nike Air Force Ones when I hit 1000 subscribers. All you need to do is en to enter is to subscribe. So if you, never or if you haven't already, please subscribe. And then you automatically enter the my giveaway. Anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Because I'm talking a lot now. So I decided after that, that's it, I'm going to go and start my career as a, uh, sorry for interrupting you guys. <laughs> I'll be done shortly. <laughs> I was just drifting by. So I decided to, to start my full time studying as a, as a student and I, I went to the University of Cape Town. It's probably not the best place to study Afrikaans because it's it's not a particularly Afrikaans university. So I I decided to invest in a private tutor, uh, which is a you know what a tutor is. I didn't know I had to Google it, but a tutor is a, just a private teacher. It's like uh, what was her name? And a private tutor. But she just said private dancer. <laughs> Which is much like what my mother was, you know. <laughs> she wasn't a tutor, she was a dancer. However, so I got this, this, this guy uh, and he said to meet him in Seapoint or in uh, Pantry Bay or whatever, somewhere. So <laughs> I saw this guy, I came across him, I didn't come across him, I just met him because he told me to meet him there. And he said, <laughs> he said to me, Afrikaans, now I have, he didn't say anything, this is me talking. I have Googled Afrikaans voices and accents all the time, even though I didn't understand it, I, I wanted to be able to speak it. So I had my sort of idea of what a good Afrikaans radio voice sounds like and my accent and all that. So this guy said to me to meet him at a cafe or club or med or something, and I arrived and he said, Asien Peter. <laughs> And I said, yes, I am. <laughs> and he said, but now I'm going to let off a cons here, Rod. I'm going to let off a cons, Rod. I'm going to Fedora's upset. And I'm going to body cam. And I'm going to let you all the key to the leer. And I said, hang on just a minute, mate. I, 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 <laughs> Do you even speak Afrikaans? What is that? That's not what I've heard. It's not similar. No offense to your hats and everything in your beard. By the way, there's a chip in your beard. <laughs> I'm not gonna give me my voucher back. So I left because that's not the that's not the accent he advertised on his website. So I went to the next university, which is the University of the Western Cape. That's just there. And the guy contacted me, said, "Come to uh, Salt River." So, uh, so I drove there, Salt River. Salt River, yeah. same thing, <laughs> just different languages. So I went, I went there, and uh, he told me to leave my car somewhere, and then walk, and then take an Uber. And I thought, oh, this sounds like the movies. 
sounds a bit dodgy. He said, because he doesn't want people to know where he lived because he's famous. And I said, okay, and I fell for that. Um, and I got to this street and there was no one there. And this guy came out of the house. We, what is it called? Uh, we retract. No, we deduct. No, we didn't do anything. We just walked down the street and then this guy came out of, the, out of his house and he said, I said, just, I'm, I'm gonna fetch my wallet. I'm gonna fetch my wallet. Because I forgot you. Did play your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, okay, I'll, uh, I managed to get out of there. Uh, and it wasn't, again, it wasn't the, the, the it was something, something, something to the Africans I wanted to learn. But I thought, I'll give someone else a turn. And I went to I went to the University of Stellenbosch, which is right there. <laughs> yes, it's there. Hey, I'm a Scientologist. No, I'm not. I'm a doesn't matter. It's there. So, <laughs> so I arrived there and I booked a private tutor again and I thought, this is it, this has gotta be it. And I came across this tutor and the guy said to me, We all come in Stellenbosch, bro. Can you have a knock of shit in the free bones? Yeah. And I thought, what the, what's wrong with this place? Everybody's from Pretoria. <laughs> They've got their own university up there. So, and the other thing is, everybody was drinking red wine and all sorts of other things, and I thought it was some sort of attempt to save something like, a, like this coronavirus. I thought if, if we drank all this wine in time, something wouldn't happen. So I started joining them for a week. <laughs> and I, it didn't last, so I said, that's it. I'm going to go to the University of the Orange Free State. There was no one there. <laughs> and I thought, that's it. I'm going to go onto the University of YouTube. Which is uh, the best university if you think about it. You don't get a degree or anything, but you learn. And at the rate I was going with my vouchers, I was also not getting degrees, but I was learning. So I went onto YouTube and I thought, who is, who's got a, a nice accent? And I came across a guy called Tola van der Merva. I didn't know what the accent was all about, but so I learned this story verbatim, word for word, with a trick that I learned at the University of, pa of Paris, or as we say, Paris, which is in France. And, uh, so, sorry about that, you'll learn all about it, won't you? I think that's the only French word I know, it's bad. And, uh, danke schön. And then that's German. So, sorry, uh, that's a new joke for me as well. Sometimes, sometimes it happens, you'll see throughout the night. Because I've got to keep myself entertained as well. So I came across the story, and this guy uh, told up on a member, and... Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And um, one small thing is, I just want to say, I saw th the Strad man. I don't know if you guys know me, but um, the Strad man is a YouTuber that films a lot about cars. And he's a... He has his own Veyron and everything and I saw a video of, him, of his dad that passed away and I'm really sorry to hear it and I'm all here to support him because I love him, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. So um, as I said I have a giveaway, you can go check in the, the information in the beginning of the video if, if you haven't done that already and if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this and sometimes even better. So anyways guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.